Sunday, everybody, and welcome to the Steelite International Corporate Headquarters with John Miles. Thank you for being here, Lauren. Nice to be here, Mike. This is really cool. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to our corporate headquarters and done a show from there before. I don't think so either. I think this is a first for us. Nonetheless, in Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, right? right here in downtown Youngstown. That yeah. is what it's all about, and it's been a work in progress. And a lot of times we start this show at one of the restaurants that you work very closely with, so many in our Youngstown area. Every time we walk in, they're like, Oh, you're here because of Steel Light. Thank you so much. It's just like this overwhelming, like, thank you. And we have to say thank you for, for making this part of our life and our show. So, no, thank you very much. Uh, you know, we couldn't do it without the customers throughout the world. And we absolutely love all of our local customers. And there are so many that have supported us. Um, you know, as we moved to the Experience Center in 2017 in the Commerce Building, and you know, then uh, decided to establish our global headquarters here, here in downtown. Right here. And uh, it's been absolutely fantastic. And you know, we've had the opportunity not only to work with local restaurants, but in doing the buildings, so many local contractors and so many local people to help um, really produce what you see here, which is I. You know, I'm uh, very partial, but I think it's pretty good. This is the first time that Mike's walked in. We've oh, done, yeah. We've done a couple of things over the last few months, but seeing it come together is amazing. But you walked in for the first time today. Oh, it's just so neat. It's, I was just wondering, like, when you finally had the chance to open up and, and everything, does that, is it an emotional thing for you? I mean, when you, do you ever just sit back and go, you know, we did this. This is what we wanted to do. And here we are and look at this place. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, uh, and you know, so much time and so much dedication for our own people internally, you know, working to plan this and get it done. But then you look at the community of people around us that worked on the project. You know, we've worked with Murphy Contracting for a long, long time, local company based in downtown. You know, they did all the contracting work. Uh, you know, you take a look at uh, the electrical work yeah. that was done here, all done by, you know, local electrical workers. Uh, the furniture, Donna Sadie and the Jones Group, you know, did a lot of the interior design. It's Beautiful absolutely stuff. fantastic. Yeah. yeah, really cool. The collaborative workspaces and, you know, an office space, you know, it sounds like you know, what's what's to be excited about that? But when you walk through the three floors of this building, it's more than just a desk and a computer and a place for people to get work done. This is a place where ideas can come together. And I think that that was a, a big part of your plan from day one when this was just an idea. Yeah, I mean, I, philosophically, we, you know, in our hearts believe that you can make any product anywhere. The difference in the world today is the culture and the people that you have working with you. And to develop a space that provided our people with a really collaborative, great environment to work and to see the excitement yeah. of people wanting to come to the space and so happy to be in the space. It's been incredible, like yeah, really great. We're coming off of, you know, the pandemic and mm -hmm. people working from home and getting people to come back into the office is not the easiest thing. And you walk through here, it's right. like, woo. How many, how many people end up coming downtown to work? 120. And then will that grow, you think? Or you think that's how it's gonna be for a little bit? Um, I mean, we've grown every single year for yeah. 30 years. Uh -huh. um, so uh, we, we're really hoping, fingers crossed, the trend continues. Um, you know, we've grown um, organically and through acquisitions. Mm -hmm. And, you know, organic growth has been really good this year. You know, we're nearing the end and looks really good for the organic growth part of the business. And we've done two acquisitions that have been very accretive to the business. Mm -hmm. and. And um, I think that you'll see us continue on both paths, good levels of organic growth and um, uh, the acquisition strategy that we've employed will continue to employ. Awesome. Well, that means good things for Youngstown and everybody that is around you. And we're just grateful to be part of it. Yeah. Thank you okay. so much. Great to see you. Merry Christmas. Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah. I know he's got more things to do. It's, we're lucky that he's in this country with us today. So I know you've got lots of other things to get to, but mm -hmm. come back at the end, okay? I promise. Okay, yeah. sounds good, Mike. How fun. How great. Ghana. I know. Absolutely amazing, isn't that? It really what a story. Is. It really yeah. is an amazing story. And to see local companies have such a worldwide impact is nothing, it's like nothing new to you. Mm -hmm. I know that. 
Like, it's not easy, though, right? What you do. I mean, that's it's, it's not easy, but I think that um, it just goes to show, you know, from here how far you can go, right? Yeah. It's sure. it's it's really incredible. But that story is it's really fantastic. Very very special. And I've been here on a couple of different occasions as we work on you know different projects um, throughout the year together, and I've had the opportunity to sit here and see people come in with their luggage and the different languages and the different cultures, John. What you have built here is a center. And I think that, you know, the city of Youngstown needs to be internally grateful to you, but so does the rest of this community. So, I mean, it's just amazing to see it happen. I mean, the thing that, that, that I think is the, uh the best is that seeing these people come from all over the world to downtown Youngstown, they're dining out in our restaurants, they're staying in our hotels, they're going to our stores, mm -hmm. they're, you know, taking Christmas presents back to Europe or That's back to Asia like. for their family. I mean, it really is. <laughs> it's cool. It's, it's very, very, uh, it, it's great. It's a great thing. He's usually just bringing them back to tell them. I know. I know. <laughs> well, working in Avalon, they talk about how durable the, the stuff is like yep. there's something so I thought maybe we could try to smash a couple plates that, before we go is that <laughs> absolutely yeah go for it that's the show for this week we'll wreck the the, the new waiting room area not here. yet anyway give us at least a year yeah. right <laughs> thank you for everything yeah great to you. see you awesome Merry Christmas yeah thank you Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. great you. to see thank you Laura thank you thank sure thank thank you all right connect four guys I, I never got it. You I did. love this commercial. It looks so cool when all the checkers drop at the end. I love it. You need a giant one in here. That will really bring cultures four. together. <laughs> have a good have a good week, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. The name of the game is Connect Four. Gotcha. Four cross. Hmm. One more game. Object, connect four of your checkers in a row while preventing your opponent from doing the same. But look out, your opponent can sneak up on you and win the game. I won. Where? I can't... Here, diagonally. Pretty sneaky, sis. Connect four, the vertical checkers game from Milton Bradley. If you like this video, subscribe to Valley Spotlight on YouTube and be sure to click on the notifications bell so you know when we've got some new stuff. You also can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to us on Vimeo or our Roku channel.